All right, what's up guys? Scale with Stability Framework. I am super excited, super excited about this series of videos all about how do we scale with stability? And not just in our business, uh, but I'm really concerned with how do we scale the business with stability in our home as well. So I've got nine principles about why is it so complex to grow and scale. And I wanna give you a visualization before we get started here. And so one of the things that makes it so complex growing a business is that you have a lot of principles that you're trying to grow every one of them at the same time. In fact, if we have six out of nine of them that we're doing really great at, we can fail. And I want to demonstrate this, right? So imagine this is like we're trying to grow our business, but we have all these pivotal points, right? So, so imagine if this corner is growth, right? So man, I get really good at sales. I get really good at marketing. I get really good at lead gen, but I'm really terrible with finances. You could fail. Oh no, but no, no, I'm really good at growth and I'm really good at finances, but I'm really terrible at managing people, right? I can't hire the great people. I can't, every time I get someone, they leave me, right? No, 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 wait, wait, wait. I'm really great at managing people. I'm really great at growth. I'm really great at finances. However, my product sucks. And so this is the difficulty with growing a business is because you're trying to grow all of these pigeons and imagine, Imagine if I had, this was a ball on the middle, this is all I had today, is like, you, you know, you can get with a little bit of angle, but as you grow and you scale, you're just constantly trying to keep the ball in the middle, right? And then there's this whole other framework outside that's spinning this, right? Because if I grow this and I gotta have almost two hands or maybe one hand, I gotta use different fingers building it up, but there's also this momentum going around. We're gonna talk about this as well. Three of the nine principles, which is, motivation like how am i getting motivated with business because it's really really difficult to grow and scale and then how am i using that motivation to go and learn and then how am i learning am i going to execute so so as you as you get this momentum going I'm like man I'm, I'm learning and i'm executing and because i executed i want i'm getting more motivated right so like think about the gym right when i when i actually go to the gym do you get more motivated or less motivated no you get more motivated, right? And then and when you get more motivated, then that causes you to learn more and you start to spin this thing. And as you start to spin it, right, check this out, you start to get momentum, right? So I'm learning, I'm executing, I'm getting more excited, more motivated, I'm learning, I'm executing, I'm getting more motivated. And this spinning cycle is what allows you to work on all of these principles as you grow and scale. In fact, it works the other direction as well, right? What happens if you don't execute? I get less motivated. And when I get less motivated, when I get less motivated, then I don't learn as much and so on and so forth, right? So, so you know, stay with me on this video because it's so important that we understand these nine principles of growth. You gotta have all nine. So the first one and the one people love the most is the growth principle or the growth pillar. This is your marketing, your lead gen, your sales. And we're gonna have a lot of content around this subject because people just love it. It's the sexiness of business, right? This other principle is your product or service, right? So again, be great at sales, but if you suck at product or service, you're screwed, right? So how do we continually get better and better at what we do? The third principle is ops right so again if i don't manage my finances if i don't have a good crm if i don't handle operations properly it's going to be difficult right and so we're going to be talking about how to set this up and grow it and scale these things all you know tie in together right the next one is customer experience how are we serving our clients believe it or not we're going to talk about this love covers a multitude of sins the better relationship we can build with our partners with our clients with our people the easier it is to overcome barriers anywhere else the fifth principle i like to talk about is commitment right our mastermind is called the committed mastermind everything is about commitment because it's hard it's difficult and the reality here is if you have something worth fighting for you can overcome anything. And we're gonna talk a lot about this, right? These all tie in together. Now everywhere, everywhere, people are involved. So the sixth principle that we're gonna be talking about is people hiring, firing, managing, mentors, because every bit of this that you build is around human beings. The psychology of human beings is so critical in how we operate and how we work. And then again, this momentum theory going around, right? What do we say? 
It is education, execution, and motivation. And it's all about motivation, education, and execution. How are we utilizing this force to go around? And guys, if you can figure out these nine principles, you will dramatically increase your chances of success in business. Now, ideally, as you grow and scale, what you end up having, by the way, is you have leaders in each one of these, right? You have a head of product. You have a VP of growth, a head of operations, a head of client experience, a head of HR. Hello? These are the organizational pillars of every business, regardless of your niche. Thank you guys for just watching, taking the time to watch this entire video, guys. We're going to be going over this all in videos to come.